I'm Fire Captain Dan Parker, and this is Report on Conditions. This week, we take you to a riverbed vegetation fire in Eastvale, and we also get a glimpse of this year's wildland in-service training drill. Hi, I'm Tawny Castro, and thank you for joining Cal Fire Riverside County Fire Department's Report on Conditions. Last week, from May 1st to May 7th, our firefighters responded to 3,373 calls for service, including 2,575 medical emergencies and 92 fire-related calls. Of the fire calls, 15 were vegetation fires and 20 were structure fires. Now let's check out a few highlighted incidents from this past week. On Tuesday, May 2nd, around 9 p.m., firefighters were dispatched to multiple reports of a vegetation fire in the riverbed near the 7700 block of Cobble Creek Drive in Eastvale. The first arriving engine confirmed a 100 by 100 spot of heavy brush burning, with 10 mile an hour winds pushing the fire westward, creating a potential for 100 acres. The first arriving battalion chief ordered 13 more fire engines, including eight Type 3 engines specifically made for accessing rough terrain, as well as five hand crews and two water tenders. The forward spread of the fire was stopped at around 12.30 a.m. Engines and crews worked throughout the night and into the day to contain and mop up the heavy vegetation. In total, the fire reached five acres and no injuries of civilians or fire personnel were reported. Around 9 p.m. on Wednesday, May 3rd, multiple reports of a structure fire at the 22700 block of Cahalco Road in Mead Valley were received by emergency dispatchers. The first arriving engine reported two RVs well involved with fire with an immediate threat to additional trailers and a nearby structure. After about 30 minutes, firefighters contained the fire to the original two RVs with limited damage to the nearby structure and trailers. One civilian patient was treated on scene by paramedics for non-life-threatening injuries and declined further care or transportation to the hospital. On Friday, May 5th, at 3 p.m., units responded to a reported fire in the laundry room of a residential structure at the 29,000 block of Del Monte Drive in Sun City. The first arriving engine reported heavy smoke, but fortunately, after about 15 minutes, firefighters contained the fire to the structure. Fire personnel were committed for about two hours and no injuries were reported to either civilians or firefighters. On Sunday, May 7th, in the early afternoon, firefighters responded to a traffic collision near the intersection of Indio Boulevard and Date Avenue in the city of Indio. Upon arrival, they reported a single vehicle that struck a fire hydrant, then caught fire. The fire was quickly contained with no injuries to the driver of the vehicle. On Sunday, May 7th, around 7 p.m., firefighters were dispatched to a reported structure fire in the 72500 block of Greenbrier Lane in the city of Palm Desert. The first arriving engine reported a single-story residence with active fire in the attached garage. After about 20 minutes, firefighters were able to contain the fire to the garage and its contents with no extension into the main residence. Crews remained on scene for about two hours for overhaul and mop-up. No injuries to civilians or firefighters were reported. I got what it takes. I've got what it takes. I've got what it takes. California's wildfires continue to threaten our communities. Flying embers from wildfires can travel up to a mile away, invading communities and destroying homes. When you and your neighbors create defensible space, you help to protect yourself and your community. Clear away dead trees, brush, and vegetation within 100 feet of your home. Pay extra attention to the zero to five feet zone immediately surrounding your house. Do your part. Be prepared for wildfire. Learn how from CAL FIRE at readyforwildfire.org. This is Kevin McNally, Battalion Chief, Riverside County Fire, Cal Fire. We're up at Twin Pines Ranch. It's in the Banning area. It's a great area for us to perform our in-service training, wildland drills. It gives us an opportunity to utilize subject matter experts. Some of the drills we'll be performing will be hose lays, cutting line construction, pumping, and command and control. We do this every year. This is an annual training that we do. It avails us the opportunity to see deficiencies, go back to the fire station, and improve on our skills. Hi everybody, Brian Johnson, fire apparatus engineer with Riverside County Fire. Today we're out here at Hamilton High School participating in the every 15 minutes. What an every 15 minutes is, is every 15 minutes there's a drunk driving accident where somebody is either injured or killed. 
Um, so behind us in the car, uh, we're gonna have students from the high school uh, playing our victims. We're gonna have seven victims total, three in one car, four in the other. Um, and their, their statuses are gonna be different. And essentially we're gonna extricate them from the car, uh, triage them, and then send them like they're going to the hospital uh, for further evaluation. Uh, we'll have two patients that are dead on scene, uh, three that are mild condition, and two that are in major condition. The purpose of doing this program is to show kids what the consequences are if they choose to drink and drive and operate a vehicle. Cody Wright, Battalion Chief, Los Pinos Fire Center. So we're doing our fire preparedness uh, annual drill for the Riverside unit. We call it our Batista drill. It consists of a tool inspection, a bus administrative inspection, a one hour hike, a two hour line cut, and then a shelter deployment with the entire group of the fire crews. We're, Los Pinos Fire Center is hosting the drill, so it's in cooperation with the Triple C's, the California Conservation Corps. So we're on a, the U.S. Forest Service land here, working in cooperation with them. They've been a great partner with us. They've given us a little bit of land here to work on and do our training, so throughout their facility here at El Carrizo Hotshot Camp. Um, also, we have uh, Zeke Foster, who's our medical director for Cal Fire Riverside Unit. He's here assisting us in seeing what we do and giving us valuable knowledge and insight on the drill. Also, we have Mercy Air is doing a standby for us at the Los Pinos Fire Center, so they're about to land shortly. Uh, since the drill just began, and they'll be leaving in a little while. All of our camps are here. So we have Oakland Camp, Batista Camp, Norco Camp, and Los Pinos Fire Center with the Triple C's. So it's a really important because it's uh, training our crews. It prepares them for the upcoming fire season. It certifies our crews as type one, which allows them to go out and cut hotline on our fires so they're unrestricted in what they do. National Nurses Week is a time to celebrate and honor the nurses who make a difference in our lives and communities. At Cal Fire Riverside County Fire Department, we're extremely grateful to Christy Hines and Amanda Sweden who provide our field staff with continued guidance, training, and quality improvements to ensure your paramedics and EMTs deliver the highest level of care that our residents of Riverside County expect. Their professionalism and leadership is appreciated. We also want to thank all of our fellow nurses in the community and partner hospitals for their dedication and service. That's it for this week's Report on Conditions. Be sure to follow at Cal Fire RRU on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to stay up to date on incidents as they happen. Did you happen to capture any pictures or videos of our firefighters in action? If so, send them our way at rrupio at fire.ca.gov. On behalf of your Cal Fire, Riverside County Fire Department, Public Affairs, and Community Education Bureau, I'm Tony Castro. Thanks for watching.